welcome back let's move on to the chapter 5 as i have continue uh, the sums or the some uh, uh, examples on uh, kinematics i will do continue that uh, that problem that i finished at 6 uh, now that will be 7 on your board so you have to represent the angle it is already i covered in theory but still some example if let's say the angle is 45 it is a specific case if all cases if it is making 45 to any side then uh, the vectors that is to be uh, dividing at 45 degrees so without saying anything you directly can name it northeast you need not to denote in other way directly here you can say northwest this is southwest and this is southeast so if you uh, if you tell someone that north east direction you need not to uh, mention the angle north east direction somebody will take it uh, simply as 45 degree to uh, any angle in between east and north okay this is a specific case where you need not to specify the angle but there may be chances that there is no specific uh uh means there is a specific uh, point or the uh, or the vector orientation is given rather it has given like any vector it has made a theta and theta may be let's say 20 degree now in that this case how will you say the vector what is the direction how you name it or how you will represent it to someone if someone asks what is the direction of the vector how do you read it basically so your uh, representation should be such that you have to understand that when angle is being written with respect to some side so you have to assume that the vector is started rotating from that side and slowly moving towards the other side so you will consider only a 90 degree uh, uh, 90 degree angles in between to that you should not compare it with the other side of the uh, other side of the means other any side means uh, you only will consider the next direction to that direction with which that uh, uh, angle is given you should not consider east to west or east to south us to south you can consider but that has to be confined in the within 90 degree you should not come across more than 90 degree so first thing is that when it is to be considered or to be represented between the 90 degrees or uh, which the sides which are uh, mutually 90 degree to each other then you can say if it is theta is equal to 20 then represent you have to understand that the vector is started moving from the direction with which the angle is given then after it is moving towards the other end so your representation should be 20 degree where it is going not from where it is coming or east you understand that where it is moving from where it is trying to go from where it is coming from where it is go it will come first 20 degree that direction of from where it is coming east now if i say 50 degree here so your answer will be 50 degree it is trying to move towards south south of what east of east okay or let's say angle is given with south 10 degree so your answer will change this time 10 degree what it is trying to move i i said it has to be confined in the 90 degree in between so 10 degree i have to assume it is not moving this side it is moving rather than this side so 10 degree east because it's trying to move to east of south so your representation of direction should be like that only 
what you read is to be represented like this okay moving to 8 let's say that there is a numeric n multiplied by null vector so what would be your answer what i will get because scalar into vector definitely is a vector but the value will convert it to zero because the multiplication will be a multiplication with the basis of the uh, numeric of this to the numeric uh, to the scalar it will give the value but vector will not change vector will follow this because any scalar with the vector will give you a vector but the value is zero itself okay because the value of the null vector is zero numerically now if i subtract this I will get 0, the value of these vectors is 0, but it has to be represented with a 0 again, because we know that vector this and minus a, that means it is collinear, we can say, but on opposite direction, the magnitude are same, so the resultant or the result of two vectors is 0, but it, it would be a vector, because it always be a <coughs> direction, because we can assume that a, a car is moving this direction, it goes 4 meter, then 4 kilometer you can say, then after returning back and, and come to the starting point on the opposite direction. So ultimately when it is moving this direction, it must have some direction, but the displacement, the ultimate displacement between the, uh, the starting point and end point is 0. So it must have some direction, but as it is following the same path and moving towards the opposite end, it must have some direction and direction has to be, and then the vector has to be, uh, the resultant has to be a vector. Okay. Now take this example plus zero vector. Now this is having numerical zero, but this is having some value this all together now this i can assume it as an example let's say starting with this point gone 4 meter but it has uh, uh, moved it has not moved from this point but changes direction zero now this is plus but the it has started from a gone to b but further it has not moved so this this point if i let's say that this is the next start from from there it has started from here moved up to that and he want to start the next day but he has not moved so his last destination and last destination will be that would be his start uh, end point and the start point of the next one so he has not moved so there that four meter has to be added to four but definitely it has trying to move in the same direction so the resultant will be 4 as because the further no movement is there but the vector will remain as vector so it will be this only okay Now this is kind of theory you can say, I have taught you the position vector, so on that position vector, this is based on the position vector, what is a position vector, if I assume with respect to a origin, any point, let's say, uh, let's say A, whose position is denoted by x and y, then this O and OA, is the position vector okay and this can be this can be written as xi plus yj the unit vector towards the x and y directions okay so this is the position vector and if we assume it is r so oa can be written as r r is equal to oa okay so on that 
some problem I'm just trying to discuss. You can assume there are, this is basically some theory, this can be useful for other cases also, two vectors, the vector, uh, position vector R1, this is position vector R2. Okay, this is, this is a vectors and this is ending at A and B. So, now the delta R, that means the difference between the, this position vector, this position, I am just assuming this direction is delta R, this way. He has started, uh, this is from the origin, he has moved A, he has moved B, and from B to A, it is the, it is the displacement between the R2 and R1. This is, you can assume it is a displacement vector, this is also displacement vector, and this is the resultant. So, delta R plus, because this direction are same, so you can say R2, which will be in the opposite direction, that is being added as a, uh, the, to enclose the triangle. So you can say by seeing the direction, this direction is equal is the same with the this direction. So this vector add is adding uh, with the uh, uh, with the each other will give the resultant which is in the opposite direction and uh, joining the tail and head of the two vectors. So from there, so this uh, comes under some triangular uh, triangular law of vector addition that I have not covered. But just remember that later I will, uh, uh, when I will come to the theory class of the vector, the remaining part, there I will discuss because in kinematics this is not much needed. So I have not gone into that deep, uh, rather whatever is needed I will explain. So this you just understand if it is following a triangle, uh, the, if that three, a triangle is represented by two vectors in same direction, then the third side on the opposite direction, if it is closing the triangle, will be the resultant. That means, if it is A vector, this is V vector. If it is C vector, then from the triangle law of vector, the addition of triangle law of vector, we can say A plus B is equal to C. So, this is the uh, rule, uh, this is the concept. Uh, this is the triangle law of addition of vectors. Okay. So, delta R dash, this is the different uh, dis displacement, you can say. The displacement can be represented this. So this is you can treat as a theory, and uh, you can use it uh, any some. If I come across, I will uh, tell you. But as of now, you understand how I do that. This is following the triangular law of vector addition. Okay. Now moving to the next number ten. How will you read this vector? It is very easy to understand because minus 4a bar. So what is that? By seeing that, you can understand this is a vector. This is its numerical value. And this will denote the direction. Okay. So you can say that a vector 4a is moving or in direction of motion of that 4a vector is on west side or negative x axis towards negative x axis or towards negative x axis that I can read from this vector. So just for the sake of understanding I have explaining one example so that you can refresh your uh, memory that I have taught in your class, in theory class. The next two, next problem is that 11, two endpoints of a vector is given. The endpoints are endpoint, endpoints, endpoints, of a vector T R endpoints of a vector endpoints of a vector R four comma four comma zero and minus two comma minus two comma zero is given. Find the magnitude. 
find the magnitude so this can be done uh, with the uh, concept that i have shown you in the ninth problem if i assume this y and x and this points uh, let me draw the whole cross section of the axis if i i want to get all the side of uh, axis i want to get the negative side also so that i can represent the point well so these two vectors are given the points are uh, basically this is three coordinate system or two cartesian coordinate system i have to use so this is x y and z so this is positive y this is positive x this is positive z now point location is okay this is your negative z this is your negative x this is your negative y now 4 comma minus 4 Zero. So four means x four, y minus four will go down, and z zero. So z is the it is in the same plane z. So z z nowhere it is going. So four comma minus four comma zero will be the point here, and the other point is so if I join from the origin, this will be a position vector. Let's say I name it as a. And the other one is minus two, minus two, and zero. So minus two is this side, and minus two y will be this side. Minus two, minus two will be y on the this side, and zero. So if I take it, it will somewhat minus two, and y will be on the minus side, go down minus two, and zero. So that will be on the axis itself minus 2 minus 2 and 0 that will be on the axis itself how it is i am getting let's say this is 1 2 3 and 4 i am getting here so 4 is there and in y axis it is negative is there so negative y is in the down so down i am gone then z there is no distance traversed so it will be somewhere below this plane because this plane is on the is perpendicular to this plane so this point is below negative side so the same x has gone minus 2 then and gone there so it is below then again this is the surface which is matching so it is going down so if i join some point from this to this so it, let's say this is a point this is a vector this is minus x direction okay so this is some vector let's say b so if it is two vector now i have to join this to get the magnitude of the uh, uh, end points of vector so this is denoting on vector the end points is a and b so now from this theory i can also add uh, the vectors this is r say r1 say this is r2 this will be the delta r as i have shown you now the end points of a vector are this and this so as this comes first so we can say this is our starting point this is end point so direction will be this way this is this way this is this way so from that r1 is what r1 will vector will be x into i 4 i minus y j and 0 k that means 0 k okay and r2 will be what minus 2i minus 2j plus 0k so this will be the two vector uh, uh, two vectors uh, that that denotes the two uh, two end point of a vector so if i calculate this so what is your delta r if it is 2.2 uh, uh, End points of vectors so or delta r will be
delta r will be uh, let's say this is r1 then delta r2 so uh, r2 minus r1 equal say or r1 minus r2 whatever you take r2 minus r1 if i say delta r plus r1 is equal to r2 so r2 minus r1 so r2 is this minus this that means if i uh, deduct it so only the numerical will be uh, deducted so r2 minus r1 will be minus 6 minus 2 minus 4 is in minus 6 i this minus this will be plus 2 j this minus this will be 0 k so there will be no change now the, if this is representing a vector now any vector you know if a let's say is vector denoted by a x i y j and z k then the uh, value of magnitude will be x square plus y square plus z square so the similar thing will be added it will be calculated here uh, that mod of delta r mod the mod value will be the under root of 6 square because negative uh, square that is positive again so it will be 36 plus 4 and 0 will be 0 so all total it will be square root of 40 so that means uh, two, uh, 4 into 10 that means so 2 root 10 so this is the magnitude of the vector okay understood So this is the application that I have shown in the ninth as a theory. Uh, there I have shown uh, the two dimensional, but the three dimensional will follow the same rule. If I take x y z, x y z, or x y, that rule will be same for this case also. Okay. So number twelve and object. Originally at point, originally at point two comma four comma one centimeter is giving a displacement is giving a displacement. Ten i minus three j plus k centimeter. What are coordinates? Coordinates of its of its new position. Okay, so now again if I draw the draw the three axis system y, x and z because uh, three coordinate is given. So the, the object is originally at a point, let's say this is the point, it is two here, four on the upwards and one on the positive. So this is the point, let's say. So this is denoted by 2, 4 and 1. If I draw it like that, it's going 2 on the x-axis, 4 in uh, the y direction and z in the positive, uh, positive, sorry, this way. This will come down this way. Okay, so the point will be 2, 4, 1. Okay, so ultimately it has reached there. This is the initial position, 2, 4, 1. Now, uh, what is that sentiment is giving a displacement of, so from here it has gone some point, this point. So, as because this also denotes a point, if I uh, convert it into vector, it will be 2y plus 4j and k. So, this also uh, represents some vector and the coordinate of the point is 10, comma minus 3, comma 1. So, 
somewhere like that it will be 10 comma minus 3 1 so what is the new coordinate so this is the displacement given that means uh, from here to here that value of the vector is if i assume it is r1 again this is r2 so this is not the point is given this is delta r vector is given like that 10 i minus 3 j plus k delta r so you have to find this point that means if you can find r2 because i am considering from the origin so we can uh, find r2 so in this case this is the initial position from here he is going there so the vector will be like that and this division will be that like that this division will be like that so r2 will be anyhow delta r minus delta over uh, R2 will be the these are in same direction clockwise. This is anti clockwise plus R1. This will be the equation to get R2 as a vector. Now, uh, delta uh, delta R is represented with this and R1 the coordinate I can convert it into vector 2i plus 4j plus k. Now, as this has to be added, so adding this you will get. 12y uh, 4 minus 3 that means minus minus plus 1 j and this together this is plus k plus k plus 2k so your new coordinate will be the if it is r2 representing the position vector the end point of this will be 12 comma 1 comma 2 this will be a point so 12 is this way it is 12 it is going 12 1 will be on the y axis and 2 on the so somewhere here means it, it is not known so initially you can take any position but finally the result will be like that okay so the earlier problem was just reverse in this case delta r is given r position is given so from there r vector can be written and that r2 will be the now if it is the initial position so it is going from this to so this delta r arrow will be this side r any r1 r2 of the position vector that is always from uh, outward from origin it will be directed this way now seeing the direction and follow the triangle rule this is clockwise these two vectors and this is anti clockwise so this plus this is equal to r2 so r2 will be delta r plus r1 so adding these two vectors only the coefficients will be added the unit vectors so adding this i am getting some point here so that is the final coordinate of the point understood number 13 find unit vector parallel to the resultant of vectors resultant of vectors the vectors are given a equal to 2i minus 6j minus 3k and the second one b 4i plus 3j minus k so these are the two vectors given uh, to find the vector parallel to uh, par parallel to this means if i find a uh, find unit vector parallel to the re resultant huh? means you have to find the resultant of these two vectors now some vectors which is parallel so if two vectors are parallel and this case it is some it is representing the same uh, vector which you can get uh, uh, by adding this so find that unit vector parallel to the resultant of the vectors if i get the uh, vector by adding this resultant 
so this has are some uh, unit vectors now any vector parallel to this can be of same dimension because parallel vectors uh, dimension wise may be same but they are like vectors or parallelly the vectors can be shifted but if you can get unit vector of this then if it shifted parallelly the unit vector value will not change so this case only thing you have to understand you have to find the resultant of this then after you find you have to find the unit of this unit vector of uh, this then that is the answer yourself and th that that will uh, give you the answer okay so the resultant of two vectors is simply a plus v vectors okay because these are position vectors so definitely these are added together so what will be the answer if i add two together so the the coefficient of the similar uh, unit vectors are to be added 6i minus this will be minus 3j and this will be minus 4k uh, sorry minus 4k now if this is the resultant so the unit vector r cap you can say this is r vector divided with the mod r vectors so now r vector is 6i minus 3j minus 4k and the resultant is equal to under root of 6 square plus 3 square plus 4 square i am not uh, looking after the uh, signs because that will anyway will be nullified under square and uh, so this will be 6 square that means 36 uh, 6 square plus 3 square 9 and 4 square is equal to 16 so all total 6 6 uh, 12 uh, 1 2 uh, 6 61 so this will be under root of 61 so this will be the 1 by root 61 uh, unit vector is uh, 1 by 6 uh, root 61 and here 6 i minus 3 j minus 4 k this will be your answer okay and the result there it is 61 so this will be your answer so uh, this will be up to this uh, in this video and uh, next video i'll continue from number uh, 14 thank you